Chances are, in your lifetime, you'll suffer some kind of back pain. After all, incredibly, up to 80% of the world's population does. For most of us, it might mean resting up and taking a couple of days off work. But for some, it spells the end of an active lifestyle and a battle with constant pain. If you've ever suffered chronic back pain, you'll know just how life-ruining it can be. Spinal reconstruction surgery is sometimes used to relieve the pain, and it works, but, gee, it's pretty serious stuff. It can sometimes leave your back so stiff you can barely move. Well, here in Russia, they've developed a new technique for treating backs. In fact, they say, with a minor operation and some gentle heating with a laser beam, they can fix many back problems. Elena Koroliva was a healthy 44-year-old mum. Until the day she woke up with a pain in her arm, which quickly moved onto her neck. It's an annoying constant pain that you feel every second in your hand and neck. And it makes you feel always stressed and very nervous. I can't look up and I can't bend. It's so painful. Elena has three herniated intervertebral discs in her spine. Her doctor says normal treatment for her would be to fuse the discs together and stabilise the spine with a metal rod. But today, Elena will receive a new laser treatment, giving her more mobility and reducing the need for major surgery. This is what your spine looks like. These are the vertebrae, the, the bones in your backbone, and down through the centre here, of course, is your spinal cord. Now, to stop the two pieces of bone rubbing on each other, you have these thin layers of cartilage in between. They're the discs in your back, and they provide excellent cushioning because they're something like 80% water. Each intervertebral disc has a strong outer ring called the annulus fibrosus and a soft centre, the nucleus pulposus. As well as providing cushioning, the discs help hold the spine together. So if a disc becomes damaged or doesn't function normally, the spine becomes unstable and movement is painful. If the discs in your back are really damaged, they have to put a whole series of screws in to hold the vertebrae together. That's an example of one of a pretty decent sort of operation, having those shoved into your backbone. Well, the doctors here say that in half the cases where they currently use screws, they'll now be able to get by with this laser surgery. If all goes to plan, Elena should expect some relief in about three months' time. The way the laser surgery works is the surgeon inserts the laser beam right into that damaged disc and heats the cartilage up just a little. That small change in temperature gives a pressure jolt to the disc, and that, the scientists say, jolts the disc into regrowing cells and regenerating the cartilage. The laser is delivered through this needle, which is inserted into the spine. And this is the precise moment of that jolt. You can see the heat from the laser is causing an instant reaction inside the cartilage. Dr. Emile Sobel is the brains behind this procedure. In what we are doing, there is no magic. We have found a way to give life back to the cells that are missing it. So there is no magic, just the pure laws of biology. Skeptical? Well, Natalia Pimuka says she's living proof. She had her laser surgery about a year ago. Back then, she couldn't bend or sit down without excruciating pain. But as you can see, she can now touch toes with the best of them. I feel like a different person again. I feel like I'm 20 years younger, and the operation that they did for me, I felt no pain. And now I have all the pleasures of life back, including my favourite pleasure, which is billiards. And the laser treatment is not confined to back surgery. The doctors claim the treatment can be used on any part of the body, such as the hip, where the deterioration of cartilage causes pain and problems with mobility. Now, the idea to fix up crook hips and backs using lasers actually came from a completely different medical procedure done here at the Moscow Medical Academy. It's using lasers to fix up the crooked cartilage in noses. 
Lorena Taremko has a surprisingly common problem, a deviated septum which is partially blocking her nasal passage, making it difficult for her to breathe. Now, the traditional procedure for having your nose straightened is actually an operation. You have to have a general anaesthetic. They actually cut a piece of the cartilage out. There's plenty of blood, plenty of pain, and a long recovery time, and a quite a painful one. But today, the Lorena is going to have her nose straightened without a drop of blood being spilled. The process is called laser septochondrocorrection. Using a thin optical fibre, infrared laser radiation is applied to the septum, heating the cartilage gently. This softens the cartilage and allows it to be reshaped without structural damage to the tissue. For Lorena, the results are instantaneous. <laughs> So how do you feel? Was it painful? A lot of pain? I can breathe easy already. There was no pain. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah. no blood? No bleeding? Yeah. The laser treatment is only available in Russia at the moment, so a bit of a journey if you want to go and have the procedure done. But the researchers have now secured international patents and they're hoping to start trials overseas in the next few years.